I, two years ago, I wrote a successful book. Why sunshine vitamin D protects us from cancer. Protects from all cancer, even from skin cancer. First of all, my name is Dr. Karl. I'm from Switzerland. I'm 77 years young. And uh, I have been for about 20 years a professor at Lausanne University uh, at the Faculty of Sport Science. Then I went uh, to the United States and I did a doctorate in health science and preventive uh, medicine. And back in Switzerland, now uh, 35 years ago, I founded a health center because I, I, underst I understood that there was a market for people 30, 40, 50 and older. It was the beginning in Switzerland of all these fitness centers, but these fitness centers were for young people, there are a lot of music and it's not for elderly people. Then, uh, through uh, my activity at university, I knew more than 60 doctors uh, around uh, Lausanne, Switzerland. And together with them, I founded a, a health, health and spa center close to, uh, to Lausanne. I had 60 doctors who sent, sent us clients on a, on a daily basis. And then uh, I was looking because I understood those people, they want to live a long time and they, they want to stay in good health. But there is one problem, they are all a little bit lazy. So I told them, look, here you have everything. We will try to get the maximum with the minimum. So I would say what is important is exercise, is a healthy diet, you know, healthy diet and regular sleep pattern. It's not important uh, that you sleep 10 hours, you can sleep 5 hours. What is important? 2 to 3 hours deep sleep pattern. And this is the problem as we get older, especially women after menopause, they have, they have deep sleep problem, you know. But there is one thing I think, I think all the, 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 the Asian spa have a product who is for me, as a, as a doctor, is the most important health product you can get. But nobody speaks about it. Is regular sun exposure. Sun exposure, you know, we have UVB rays in the sun and UVA rays. Okay, UVB is producing pre-vitamin D from cholesterol. This is interesting. UVB uh, from cholesterol. And our skin cells, <coughs> when we are out at the beach <coughs> in, in the sun, our skin cells have the, the whole uh, mechanism, but all the enzymes, whatever, to activate immediately pre-vitamin D from UVB into active vitamin D. Nobody talk of this because a lot of people, when I ask, they say, I take vitamin D supplements. Can never replace vitamin D from the sun because you get, this is not vitamin D we take, it's also pre-vitamin D, but you are taking orally. It has to be activated in the first step through liver, in a second step, through our kidney. And as older we get to activate it, the vitamin D. Our body needs activated vitamin D. And this is, in, this is important. The older we get, the less pre-vitamin D is activated from supplements. And there is another big problem nobody talks about. Uh, people, uh, elderly people, are, on, uh, are often uh, on medication. If you take cardiovascular medication, diabetic medication, only a small part is perhaps activated or nothing. Doctors will take uh, vitamin D level, but this is the 
inactive level. After pre-vitamin D passed the liver, this is inactive, it's calcidiol, whatever. And then it has to go to the kidney, and it becomes calcitriol, this is the active vitamin D. And you can well have a, 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 a sufficient vitamin D level, but perhaps you, act, you activate nothing. That's, we can never replace the sun. And only 10, 15 minutes around noon, 11 o'clock, 2 o'clock, produce at least four to 6,000 vitamin, vitamin D. You can never compensate, compensate this by, by supplements. Because all our organs, all the tissues of our organs have, and now it's becoming interesting, have vitamin D receptors. Even more than 2,500 genes have vitamin D receptors. And our organs and tissues need sufficient vitamin D for optimal, for optimal function. I, two years ago, I wrote a successful book why, why sunshine vitamin D protects us from cancer. Protects from all cancer, even from skin cancer. But doctor, yeah. the, my argument is dermatologists would say do not go out in the midday sun. And now it's becoming very, very interesting. It's a high, you know, there are three different skin cancers. I make it simple, two white skin cancer who usually uh, do not spread, you know, and one melanoma is dangerous. I fully agree. But there are statistics in Switzerland, I don't know the statistic of another country, from 100 cancer cases, only two or three are melanoma. The rest, 97, they are white skin cancer. It doesn't put, put any problem. Vitamin D is so important. As I told you, the vitamin D receptor we have, we have everywhere. Perhaps the most important organ is our immune system. COVID. Good immune system, no COVID. All the, our immune system has vitamin D receptors. And that means somebody who, who has a sufficient vitamin D level, sufficient active vitamin D, he has a powerful, a powerful immune system. Immune system is the first defense against all the viruses. And when I talk of, of COVID and even flus, you know, these viruses attack, have receptors in our lungs. And vitamin D downregulates the receptors. In other words, the viruses has problem have problem to attach at, 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 the, at the receptors. That people with a good immune system, not a big problem for uh, uh, flus and, and COVID. For me, as a, as a, as a doctor, for me, uh, vitamin D is as important or more important than at an exercise or, or, uh, or healthy diet. It is important, you know. It has so many, so many effects. The more you are out in the sun, the better you sleep, because there is a, a, a game between, between light and dark. You know, our sleeping hormone, our sleeping hormone is called melatonin, you know. The more you are during the day outside in, in, the, in, the, in the sun, the more melatonin is released at night. And we need melatonin for a good deep sleep, for, for good deep sleep deep sleep. And by the way, melatonin, more in the sun, higher release of, of melatonin. Melatonin is the most powerful antioxidant. Nobody tells you. More, much more powerful than vitamin C. What's the recipe for a healthy life? Uh, for a healthy life? Okay. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's, a very, it's a very good question. I would say, first of all, try to be happy. Have an optimistic outlook on life. Have a happy social life. This would say is, I would start like this. And then look, there are four, four uh, factors who are really in, uh, important. Regular exercise, have a good night's sleep, and uh, 
Watch your diet. Don't overeat, especially not in the evening. Huh? And go out in the sun as much as you can. Huh? And uh, expose as much as, I always say, expose as much as skin as the situation allows. Oh. Up at this day, there are up than over 30,000 studies has been published about vitamin D. I published a book two years ago. I analyzed, it took me four years. I analyzed over 3,000 recent studies. And I, I, I discovered one important thing. In countries close to the equator, the cancer cases per capita is much lower than in countries uh, close to the, uh, the, the North Pole, you know. 90% of the studies has given mixed results. And you know, when you analyze a study, it's not easy, you don't have all the facts, you have to see. But all the time, when the sun is entering the game, the, re the results are, are crystal clear, you know. When you look in Europe, there are studies have been done in summer, over three months, or in winter, there's a huge difference, you see. And by the way, vitamin D, I tell you why it's interesting, you know. Vitamin D, first of all, produce the vitamin D our body needs for optimal function and for optimal health. I'm 100% uh, uh, firm on, on this. But vitamin D lowers uh, cholesterol. A lot of people, millions of people, take statins. It's one of the most sold medication in the world. I, I published an interesting uh, study why Southeast Asia doesn't need statins. You don't need, because pre-vitamin D is made out of cholesterol. In summer, cholesterol levels in Europe are much lower, uh, lower than in winter. Then, second, uh, vitamin D, vitamin D, sunshine vitamin D, lowers blood pressure. You can perhaps keep your, your blood pressure medication. And three, vitamin D increase a lot of hormones. You can decide if you, if you, if, if you follow my, my advice or not, but I always say, look, do at least take vitamin D. If you are in a country, you don't have sun, Okay, you can take uh, uh, supplements, but you have to, the older you get, you have to take high, high amounts. I would say, a young, somebody is young, take two, three times a week, 1,000 unities. Okay, but people over 60, 60 I would take three, 4,000, or twice a week, perhaps 20,000, 20,000 unities. You know, you cannot... Uh, I take uh, too much. They have no, no really uh, side effects.